Hello and welcome to another Scratch tutorial. Um, today we're going to be adding sound to a project. So, when you are have selected a sprite or a backdrop, you may notice that there's both code, which you can program it with obviously costumes where you can change how it looks, and then sounds. We've never really gone into sounds on this channel yet, so first let's go over choose a sound. So what we can do, I'm not sure if you can hear that, but when you hold your mouse over any of these, you can hear all the different sounds, and th this is all, their whole library. Then you can search by ter topics by clicking on these, or by searching uh, by exact keywords like, hi. Uh, it comes up with things like hi-hat and beatbox1. Okay, but... Uh, anyway, all you have to do is select by clicking on it. Then what, what you can do is you can click play. You can trim it by just dragging these and then click save. Uh, you can make it louder, softer. You can change different effects on it. Now, what, what I really want to get into right now, um, besides recording a sound, which is kind of self-explanatory, you click on it, it records you random surprise sound, which just brings a random one from the library. I want to go to upload a sound because this is where the really interesting things come because you can use any mp3 file and um, and you can just upload it directly into your thing. So I, I'm going to teach you how to add sound effects and music. So first go to my YouTube channel. Open this in a new tab. Then you can either go to the about page or go directly over here and you can see the first one is email me, um, the next one is new game, the next one is please visit this, these are just scratch projects with cloud variables. Uh, this is free sound effects, so if you open that in a new tab, and then free music, and you open that in a new tab, so this one is called freesoundeffects.org, you can search for them. Um, so you can, all, you can specify getting free ones, um, this, th there is an issue with this because of how, um, exp how there's prices. Uh, if, if you can't find the one you're looking for, I also, um, select, uh, would suggest free sounds, free sounds.org or free sound.org. Whoops. Free sound.org. which is this. It's all the way free. Um, and then uh, you can also go onto this website, which is someone's someone's private thing I, I found. Uh, it's royalty-free music. You can select the thing. So let's select happy. Um, let's just say, so you can click play and stop. Don't know if that will show up on the recording. But then what we can do is we can click MP3 download. Then if you're on Windows, it should pop up down here. Um, in Mac, you can probably download it directly to a folder. Then you can either open this in a folder. What I prefer to do is I take it, I drag it. I go down here. I drag it onto my desktop. You see I do this all the time. Uh, makes it super messy, but I'll delete them sometime. Then you go, or you go back to your project. Then you go upload a sound. Now you go to here, and let's see what that one was called for a second. Uh, happy, or tw let's just type in 2017. You can click on this. This is one I downloaded for a helicopter game that I just released. Um, but then you can click OK. It'll say importing up here, and then you have this. And um, then in the code, you can come over here, and then you can either do play sound until done, so it will play the whole sound, and it will also serve as a delay function. So if you put this in a repeat forever function, it will play the sound on loop. If you do start sound, you can put multiple on top of each other, so if you... So, like, if you have laser shooting and the, like, pew sound effects overlay on each other, um, that, if, if you can hear that, it's super loud in the headphones, but, um, then stop all sounds, stops all the sounds, then 
the pitch is just the pitch of the note. Um, one other thing that you can do for sound, uh, th this will be the last thing in this tutorial, because there's not a huge amount of stuff to cover, is go to click Add Extension, click Music, then you have all these blocks. Um, you can play drums, you can play um, notes, you can select a, a whole ton of different instruments, um, you can change the tempo, uh, whole tons of stuff. And uh, as I may have stated before, the thing, three things that make games really great are um, sound effects, graphics, and how intricate it is. Uh, because uh, you can have, okay, maybe, maybe not the last one, but like how intricate the gameplay is, is what I meant. Not the actual thing, because you can have a, a really simple game, but with a very interesting gameplay with music, good graphics, and other things. Because you can have a really complicated game with bad graphics, and no one likes it as much. So... That's all for this tutorial. Um, I really hope you'll start adding sounds and stuff into your projects, but I will see you in the next one.